What up, y'all? Welcome to Up Here Radio. Um, 10. Interview upon us. What up, y'all? Yo, how's your night? My, yo, my death real. My night is barely beginning. Welcome to Up Her Radio, bro. How's your night going, bro? Here. What's up? Awesome dog. How's your night going? My night's going pretty good. I'd say so myself. Uh, go ahead and tell the viewers. What kind of how does how is a night at my death reels pad? I just lay down <laughs> and I call Mac Loves Max and um everyone in XO pretty much. I usually just talk to people in XO and record. I also nice, call dog. a lot. Um, I was gonna say, is it a daily thing for you guys to check in, you and the XO click? Yeah, we text a lot during the day. It's usually just me, Mac, and Zam that call. Usually, but all right, Josh. So I have so many questions about you as an artist, uh, your uh, musical upbringing, XO click. But before we get into any of that, uh, can you see me good? Can you hear me? Yeah. Just fine? Awesome, dog. So say what up to everybody in the chat. Got XO in the chat. Uh, nothing but love. So my death real. My first question I want to ask you, bro, is your name. How did you how did you come up with that? So um, I used to be MDR, which were, which is my initials, Michael Dwayne Reed. Those are my initials, and um, MDR. I like, I was in a dark place, and I was like, pretty much dead inside at that time. Okay. And I was like, I don't know. I just came up with some corny name and stuck with it. <clears throat> oh yeah. So, you go ahead, bro. I just saw um, Rob Frashadi joined. He's been there from the start. Oh, Rob, what up, man? Literally. I know. I'm new to his music. Um, Before day one. <laughs> since day one, you said? Before day one. Oh, before day one. Damn, Rob. He's been, um, he's been making music, too. I've been watching him. Yeah. Bro, can you see me? Good. I am. I'm kind of yeah. losing connection. Uh, all right. I was gonna ask you. So, did I hear you right? You said your initials was corny, or my death real? The name was corny. My death real. What? Why do you say that for? I don't know. Just some people say it's corny. So. It's a corny what? Yeah. I think it's really unique and creative. I think it's dope. Um, I want to give you props on that. When did you start to pick up the mic? When did that happen? Um, <laughs> um, so there was this, this was in like sixth grade. I'm fucking 11th now. So like five years, I think. But, um, <laughs> I was getting bullied in sixth grade and me and Rob <laughs> made a diss oh, track on the bullies. <laughs> nice, dog, for real. It was so bad, though, because I had recorded my lyrics before we even had the beat. Okay. <laughs> so it was off beat. And my and our voices were so high pitched. <laughs> so the first time you guys started rapping was a diss track. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's dope, bro. 
And that's cool. So you've known Rob for a long time. He's a childhood friend. Yeah. That's dope. So, so you and Rob would say you guys picked up music around the same time? He did a song or two before. But yeah. Around the same time. All right. So from there, <clears throat> were you still trying to... Um, did you did you want to always be like were you tapped into the emo sound or were you listening to different music at that time when you were making um, that diss track, dog? We were definitely listening to different music. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't really listen to music that much actually when I made it. Oh, for real. So what was um what were some of the things that you like to do? around that time? Was it video games? Was it outdoor stuff? I was I was playing with wrestling figures. <laughs> I was a little YouTube channel named MDR Wrestling and I just made figure videos. Oh wow bro, that's tight. Okay, so you've always been creative. Do you do you still look back on those videos? Um I deleted them all. No, but I have the figures somewhere in my room, bro. So we I need a we need we need a photo of that. And dog, I would have loved to see one of those videos. Can you describe I, one of them? Um, I did some. We're just like <clears throat> stop motion. And that's so dope. So, uh, go ahead, my bad. After MDR wrestling, uh. I kind of like changed my name to Camo MDR, which Rob was like, I'm pretty sure he was leading that group. He was on Camo Bonzer. That's sick. Do you have any uh, backgrounds in um, wrestling yourself? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you ever like watch like WWE and stuff like that? All the time. Yeah, who were some of your favorites? Randy Orton, um, Mick Foley, definitely. I love That's, Foley. Those are dope. Do you see how um, they influence music, especially today? Um, not really. <laughs> I've seen The Rocks. <laughs> 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 Song. Oh yeah, he just dropped it. He just dropped the song. I didn't listen to it. Did you get a, a hear on that? I listened to it a few times. How was it, bro? It wasn't that bad. Yep. That fool can't miss, though. He can't do no wrong. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about your music influences, bro. What kind of music helped shape you? I have always been a big ski mask fan. And X. Oh so yeah. Big on this. Um, I listened to a lot of Who Killed XIX. Mm. And like Spider Gang. I've been getting into them recently. And I've also been somewhat inspired by like KSI's recent music. Yo, KSI has done a lot of transitions, and he is really multi-talented. How how long have you been a fan of KSI? Um, for a few years. I have I have um a few Sidemen hoodies, so I like I watch them some like most of the time. He has movies. Is that what you said? No, no. Um, he has. YouTube videos with um his group the side oh yeah 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 those are very mad entertaining dude <laughs> oh, yeah. also have um I have his CD KSI CD yeah and Ski's um CD as well <clears throat> damn dog you're a real fan when someone has a CD that's when you know you're a real fan that was... that's a dope dog I'm... now Let's talk. I'm Go ahead, bro. CDs next year. Yo, that would be the move, dude. 
that would be the move. The CD yeah. kind of fell off a long time ago, and I feel like if that were to do a return, it would be so, like, vintage. It would be epic. It would be a vibe, dog. Do you even have anything that can play a CD right now? Um, Not in my room, but in my house. We have, like, CD players. Dang, dog, that's crazy. See, like, having a CD player, not too many families, not too many households have a CD player. You know what I mean? I don't even think the new Xboxes take CDs, or do they? I think there might be an option where they don't even have a CD port in the new Xboxes. It's crazy. Not sure if you know that. Yeah, the times is it's trippy, dog. But um, let's get back to the music, dog. Uh, sun, uh, sunset, bro. Let's talk about that, dude. All right. How did you come up with the name, behind the scenes, the art, everything about it, dude? Um, so I was at the beach with my family, and they took a picture of me looking into the sunset. And I was like, oh, I've been wanting to make something called Sunset for some reason. And so I had, like, this and just a parental advisory um, mm. logo on the bottom. And then um, I showed Mac Love, and then he put all the magic together and made it the mm. color that it is. Yo, so you're telling me that Mac Love had a little bit to do with this tape? Yeah. I'm looking at the photo right now, I'm looking at the artwork. It's sick, dog. The track listing is amazing. Yo, let's talk about the track EXO. Where was your mind at? How did that come about? Um, I was kind of just, I don't know. I had been getting bored of singing. And usually when I get bored of singing, I just rap. And I had lyrics written already and i was like oh well i could just use that and make something with it i was originally supposed to have someone else on the song but he wasn't gonna get it back in time so i sent it to rob uh, and rob damn and yo that other artist missed out bro You actually probably Where you? know who he is. Um, immense. Uh, uh, no way. It was him? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That would have been sick. Damn, that's too bad, dog. Dang. That's another great artist. Um, now, in this track listing, which one's your favorite song? My personal favorite song is Ego. That's why I placed her. But ego dying, dog days of life is underrated days of life is underrated the whole tape is really underrated we got to keep listening it and sharing it out there bro because it's an amazing ep it really is um thank you when was the first time you recorded a song and heard yourself um at rob's house <laughs> no when way. we made that diss track <laughs> oh damn so y'all recorded this y'all recorded a song yeah and had a whole music video it got like a <laughs> hundred views the first day and then we deleted it yo i give you guys props y'all made a diss track on the bullies and made a video yo hard that's hard dog yeah I like that, bro. Now, how was it? How was that experience? Like, really hearing yourself for the first time, seeing yourself in a music video for the first time. Talk about that. I didn't really like it <laughs> too much. <laughs> I would have much rather been recording the music videos and editing. Mm. So I ended up taking a break from making music at one point and just started recording music videos for Rob. Oh, wow. So you do that too. So you're a, 
a cameraman slash director type guy. Yeah. I edit all of my music videos and Rob records them visually. With Oh wow. With so what? I did it all myself. I set it up throughout my room. Yeah, that thing was hard, dude. I liked that. It was dope. I liked it. So is that something you want to continue going forward? Yeah. Easily, yeah. Like, I don't plan on Damn, going to college. That's... But if I did, it would be for, like, film. What are you more interested in, or is it the same? Is it film or music? At this point, I'm more interested in music all the way. I'm investing all the way. Yeah. my life into it, so... Okay, bro. So this is the, the one of the most interesting questions I have for you. I want to know, I'm sure a lot of viewers want to know, how did my death real click up with ExoClick? <laughs> We're hearing this name a lot, but definitely Rob. Um, he was in the group before me and like recommended me. And I joined the group, but I didn't really click with them at first. So I left. And then, like, mm. months later, I joined back. And then everything clicked. I think it was the music I was making at that time wasn't mm. on the same pattern. Okay. Completely different music you were making at that time compared to now. I was making like really terrible, egotistical <laughs> music. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it just wasn't. How many? Oh, like. I was going to say, how many years have you been doing this music thing? Five. I think five and a half. Mm. And then I also want to give a big shout out to Rob. Knowing all these stories now, it's like, wow, he, he was really connected in so many ways. That's a trip, dude. Yeah. So props to Rob, dude. That's times but i mean yep that's sick know, what about i'm sorry were you saying something my bad i was gonna say even through like the ups and downs we're still here so mm -hmm. like makes me really happy growing with them. <laughs> and that's solid bro and that shows uh, uh somebody's true colors and that's what makes them so solid. And that's good that you have some good people around you, bro. Because that's what's going to help you succeed. Um, ExoClick. Um, every member. Are you familiar with all of them? With most of them. We added a few new members the other day. Yeah, I saw that. That's dope. That's dope. How is your relationship with the Max? Oh, that man's like my best friend. <laughs> Him, Mac, Rob, and my Prada Knight, I would say, are my top best friends. Damn, shot all of them out. And now let's talk about his music. How do you feel about some Max's music? <laughs> He's next level. Very next level. I'm, he just dropped a tape, and I'm, mm -hmm. I couldn't be any more proud for him. See how much effort he put into that tape. It's just, I'm proud of him. Yeah, dog. Go. I'm gonna give big props to the Max as well. That part two is a good piece of work, and you can feel the energy behind it and behind the team. You guys are really good people. Um, for you to be a part of that is really badass. Now let's talk about Mac. What do you think about him as an Ooh. artist? He's my older brother. <laughs> in real life? Oh, no, not in real life, but like... Oh, yeah. That would be cool. 
I think he'd get annoyed <laughs> of me though. <laughs> Sibling um, rivalry. I do a lot of joking around with him. Like <laughs> any time I'm on his live, I make some sort of joke. It's so- that's cool. <laughs> um, he's his producing skills are so good. I have um a song dropping soon with Rob, that's produced by. Mac, he killed that. Bro, my gosh! See, that's so intense, dog. You got so you got my death real. You got Rob, and the beat is made by is made by Mac, and it's like what? That's crazy. Like, do you really hear yourself saying that? Um, ask me a year ago, I would have said no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I it's a trip. Saying, My Death Real featuring My Death Real produced by a YouTube beat. For real. That's how it was back then, you know? Yeah. And now you got a team that's a solid team, that's a talented team. You know, when I was um, on the live with y'all a couple of days ago, a couple of nights ago, I really got to see Mac really making beats and then hearing his instrumentals and I'm like, yo, this this dude is really mad talented. So that was really my first I, like he popped my cherry that night. It was really it was really dope. <laughs> That's sick. So uh let's talk about what's going forward. What's 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 the future like for my death real? Um only up and <laughs> um I can say I have at least four singles, a November EP, and a um, album in December with no features dropping. Yo, no way. And there's going to be a deluxe for that album. Okay, sick. So when you drop those four singles, would that be just like not connected at all? It won't be an EP? No. It'll okay. just be at like different times throughout. I have one dropping Sunday. Ah, this Sunday. Yeah. And one <laughs> dropping the 5th of November. And then the EP should be expected the 13th i'm estimating 13th all right awesomeness dog so you're dropping a track on halloween is it halloween themed um not really i don't talk about halloween that much in the song it and it's not even called halloween it's just called hissy fit <laughs> nice <laughs> hissy fit with my prod night is gonna be on it i have to my get prod night hey gotta get those vocals in prod night dude that's legit i'm looking forward to that dog um did you want to go ahead and get mac, mac in the live he has requested get him in here <laughs> Part of the My Death Real experience on uh, Upper Radio. Get those vocals now. <laughs> Welcome to Upper Radio, My Death. And Mac, I can't hear you. I think he's saying one minute. Oh, for sure. Take your time, bro. Take your time. What's your favorite song from Mac? Oh, my favorite song from Mac is easily... Um, that's a hard one, actually. <laughs> I was thinking it was easy, but that one's a hard question. I like his music a lot. Like, I have yeah. a list with, like, 400 songs, and I think I have Ooh. about six of his in there. Oh, yeah. Dang, that's a vibe, bro. He's, um, a good, he's a good artist. Tell me about it. <laughs> um, you guys are all truly good artists. My favorite oh, yeah. one is um, 
Insomnia Gang. Insomnia Gang. Here, I'll find it. Yeah, I gotta listen to that. I haven't heard that one. Shout out to Prada Knight. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's easily That's my favorite Matt. song. Easily. I'm grabbing What's up, guys? Beautiful song. Welcome. Welcome to Uphill Radio, bro. This is the My Death Row interview. The experience. How you feeling, dude? Man? Yeah. I'm These are my bro. three puppies. I'm just making a beat. I, had, I was on a call with uh, the lady because like, I'm in like a GD program. And, like, right when you accepted me, before I had, because I had to leave and come back, she fucking called me. So I was like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. oh, shoot. Wow, no, the timing. Cool, I got that dealt with. All right, on, dog. Right on. Awesome. Uh, Death Row, you were showing us your puppies? Yeah. My puppies? three puppies are named Roxy, Rena, and Riley. Oh, nice. All our names. Hmm? We, we love the doggies here on Upper Radio. The little death puppies. <laughs> uh, oh no, we lost. Uh, we lost, lost Mac Mac. Love. Oh man, the universe, bro. I grabbed the water because I started losing my voice the other day. Oh yeah, bro. As a musician, you gotta stay hydrated, bro. You gotta be careful with them vocal cords. Every day. Um, since Max having a little bit of technical difficulties, talk about your recording process. Um, I use BandLab on my phone. Mm. If I go in, I find where I want to record. I add the vocal track and record. I My think bad, guys. I record with like three to five layers now. On your yeah. vocals. Which was a tip from like Zam and Mac. They, <laughs> ever Free since game. I joined EXO, I've gotten like so many. Significantly help. better. So many help. Way better, bro. And like, you be doing your shit. I don't, bro, Mike, <laughs> dog. Bro, your shit was ass, bro. Like, a while ago. <laughs> bro, but now, I don't even know what the fuck came over you. He's, like, been working his ass off, bro. Like, he's a real, really, he's a really good artist. He's going to change the world one day. I guarantee Damn. you. But he that's what... fuck around with all the bullshit. He's, like, he's on his shit, bro. That man, like, like, if, bro, if people think, like, I'm active with making shit, I've literally seen this dude make a song in a 10-minute fucking span, bro. <laughs> Damn, dog. 10 minutes? Death Row? 10 minutes, bro. Yeah. Full song. I get features done quick as well. There's dog, a that's really good. That, like, take a while. But bro. I do it same that yeah, that's mad talent, bro. I want to give you props on that. A lot of times, you know, every artist is different. I respect that. But to get it done that quick, dude. I'm like Amazon Prime. With yeah, bro, dude. This man's like the opposite of Distro Kid. He gets the songs out on like the first day. <laughs> the yeah. opposite of Distro Kid. Fuck Distro Kid, bro. That shit's ass. <laughs> bro, Death Row said Amazon Prime, bro. Yo. That, <laughs> that man's on his Amazon shit. Yeah, dog, that's oh, tight. Yeah. That's really dope. Um, Mac, how long does it take for you to make like a, a solid beat? I just made this one from when you guys started your live, if you want to hear it. Nice. Uh, it's, I kind of, here, let me switch my camera. It's something different. Like, literally, when you guys started the interview, I was watching the interview and making this, but uh, I don't have necessarily it all kind of filled out. I don't like usually I separate them the tracks, but it's just one track. But I got it. Hold up, let me unplug this. This so far. Some different shit. I 
think I'm gonna make like a single to this. Mm. Oh. I'm, I use a, oh, I like that. Like oh. a, stick with a trap vibe and like you know like this is a, the beat to the song that I'm making right now I'll cut out all the vocals so I can just play the beat but uh, like this is the shit that I, like, I usually make like this song uh... uh. Ooh. But I don't know. I figured I'd try some like more acoustic shit. I like that. Yeah, that first one you played was really, really good. That's it's fucking cold. weird. That's but like it's gonna be fire it's gonna... water. Yeah, dog. No, that that beat is mad cold, bro. I can't wait to hear that. You gonna get some crazy on that one. I know it. I usually ask this to everyone: What color should I put for the lights? Um. I like that. I like that middle purple. That one's really dope. Bro, you just read my mind. No way. Oh, God, bro. Yo, the energy, Purple's bro. Shit. Yo, that's crazy. Oh. There it is, dog. That's tight. Oh, yeah. Damn. Hey, Death Row, so do you set the vibe when you record? How's that? Um. The lighting I and everything. Repeat. Please. Say what? I said, um, can you repeat, please? Like with the lighting and everything, does that affect you when you record your music? Um, yeah, to be honest, I have to have it at either purple or red when I record. Yo, I bet you make some craziness when it's red. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I always started out with purple, though. Hmm. Yeah, the color scheme is beautiful. Like the video that you have, it's purple, like the purplish blue. That was fly, dog. Bro, I'm trying to do an uphill radio Baker interview. We're gonna set that up, bro. There's a lot of questions I have for you. That's why I'm being very careful with asking you questions. You know? Oh no, no, that that's not what I was saying, bro. I'm saying like an uphill radio Baker, like interview your ass, bro. Ooh, you do Reverse podcasts? the tables. We're, we're thinking about starting one up, maybe. Dude, do it, bro. If it's in your heart, you know what I mean? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That'd be dope, bro. Interview me. Yeah, like be... You got a lot of shit to say. I can... Facts, dog. There's so much, bro. There's so much I'd be forgetting, dog. Honestly. Bro, it's just crazy. Yeah, and it's it's a trip just just this year alone, you know what I mean? Just watching all of these different artists, all of these different music collectives, and that's including you guys, and it's a really a trip, bro. Just that alone could be like an hour podcast. For real, bro. Just may I wanna like set up the podcast, like interview every member, you know what I mean? So like we'd we do mic, we do you, we do like you know, Zan, everybody just like get us all mm -hmm. in like one either like session on like Discord and like record it or like maybe in person one of these days, hopefully. Yo, that would be sick. Where are you guys exactly located? So, we're gonna be located in Florida mm. because uh, so when Mike turns 18 and shit, he'll move out to uh, Florida with us. Me Ooh. and Zam. Zam's moving down with me uh, around next year with my homie Paxton, who just joined in the live, actually. He, uh, oh, I'm moving out with him. And then me and him are getting a place, you know, in a couple months. And then Zam's going to be moving down with us. We're going to start the, you know, the collective house. You know how Sold Souls and shit is in, like, Cali? Yeah. Figured if they're going to take over, like, you know, that side of the country, might as well get this side. But fuck him. Kind of oh build it all gosh. up. Maybe do like a collab with some of them and shit. Yes. But wow. Yeah, bro. I can't fucking wait to like be in the same house, just making music with like my homie Pax, Zam, Mike. That shit's gonna be fire. 
if I think you guys are tearing it up now, oh man, when you guys make those moves, forget about it, bro. Yeah, bro. It, yeah, it is an interview. <laughs> I just kind of stole. I kind of sneaked my way in here. <laughs> But, Yo, dude, yeah. that's the move. Um, next year, I don't know what date, but I do plan on hitting Florida. That'd so, be fire, bro. You're welcome dude, most, to stay with me, bro. That would be want. beautiful. Thank you, dude. Mac, you better take a trip to CT next year. To where, Kentucky, or I don't Conne- Connecticut? Know. Connecticut, yeah. for sure, bro. I like <laughs> honestly, or else I'll kick you. <laughs> bro, don't don't kick me. <laughs> in the shin. You in the likes, bro. Bro, fucking Mike kicked me from XO Click the other day. <laughs> Little bitch. <All> right. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. We were all chilling on call. I was on the XO account, so I kicked my account. <laughs> back, Mac kicked, and then I kicked Mac. <laughs> Y'all kicking each other out, dog. <laughs> yeah, we were just fucking with each other, trying to start some shit. But I yeah, mean, y'all tag team. Basically, yeah, on some like Detroit hooker shit. <laughs> <laughs> In the end, I was the only admin there. Mike was Mike is the only admin. I am the only <laughs> admin. All word. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh damn! I was gonna get an exclusive right there. <laughs> Fucking! Oh, you know what, Mike? I'm a. We're gonna turn the tables, and me and Baker are gonna interview you now. Hey, that's hey. Mac knows things that I don't know. You know what I mean? Questions. Oh, that... Where do you? I've always wondered this. I never asked you. Where does your inspiration come from? Not from a you know single artist, but. In, like, a, a genre stance. So, like, where do you pull your sound from? Or, like, how did you accumulate that? Um, <laughs> I don't really make the same sound as any of the music I listen to. Um, <laughs> you don't make that mean, To be honest, lately, I've only been listening to, like, the members we just zam you oh yeah bro that's a good we answer need, we need to fucking get some more new shit going bro I've been telling you this yo for weeks yes I know but <laughs> no. have you guys have I'm you guys ever talked about doing an EP together my- I'm going to get Mac on my EP and the song after. We were... Should I just spill the beans on... Hmm. I guess there's only like five people in here. Fuck it. I uh, plan on producing an EP for him. Gosh, dog. Yo. That would be insane, bro. It would be fire as fuck, bro. Bro. Every that would be so good. That I have sent that man, ever. Yeah, he's fucking bro in his ooze. He he does these like ooze on his music. He's like ooh, I don't know, <laughs> but it's fucking awesome. I love it. I'll find. <laughs> Wait, I found one. Gosh. Every now and then. <laughs> Bro, I'm so happy out of all people who hopped on that beat. It was you. That beat was like, damn. That Me song Bob, that I sampled it from. We're going to drop that on the 5th, I'm pretty sure. I hope we do, bro. Yeah, that'd be sick. Uh, so Mac, what do you, I heard that you had a little bit to do with Sunset. What do you think about Sunset overall? I love it. Yes. I didn't really do much, if I'm being honest. He just sent me the picture, and I Mm -hmm. edited it. But 
that that was on mic, bro. Like that, I fucking loved it. Real shit. Him, like you know, Sunset, and I'd say Part Two for yeah. like, Wizards and Sad Shit are like my favorite, like EPs and albums that have come out came came out this year. Bad they both worked really hard on them. Me and um, Zam were supposed to have a song on Sunset. I'm pretty sure with uh, Mike, but we Aww. couldn't. We didn't get it done in time. I'm pretty sure, but we'll mm-hmm. probably we'll probably drop it as something else or just make a new one. Yo, that yeah, it's a miss. Damn, that sucks. But I mean, it's all right. You know, I fucking talked to this dude. Yeah, but for the fans, though, you feel me? Like the fans see and like, what y'all could have had a song on the tape, and it's not there. I I mean, yeah, but for the in the end of the day, yeah, there's so much to look forward to. Yeah, you gotta. You can't just like go out. In my opinion, I feel like music is more of a. You gotta have fucking fun, and you gotta make it. It's not just like some mm. fucking you know bullshit ass like, oh, we're gonna go around and try to gain all these fans and blah 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 this this and this. But like, where it becomes something great is when you be you guys become something great together. Mm. You know what I mean? And like, yeah. bro, real shit. Mike, Zam, mm-hmm. Guts, fucking Taylor, like, Prada. One day, mm-hmm. man. One day, sure enough, bro. It's gonna be crazy. Come yeah, uh, Mac, are you familiar with all the members in EXO? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice, sick. So you have like, a good relationship with them all. Yeah, most of them. Uh, I don't. Sometimes, like you know, I'm not able to talk to some of them because you know I work and stuff and like all this shit. Mm-hmm. Like life's been pretty hectic, but it's all right. And I but, still uh, feel but... hours from Mac a day. <laughs> yeah, bro. I didn't. I didn't hear what Death Row said. Oh, I said I steal hours from Mac every day. Oh, taking his time. Yeah, but I mean, I'm cool with it, dude. Like, he's like once every day. Yeah, that's love, bro. That's my love. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro, my fucking brother's calling me. Hold up. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You guys want to meet my brother? Yeah, most definitely. Hey, yo, Nate, come help me build my new homie's home. We're on an interview. Who is that? That's Uphill Radio, bro. What up, Nate? Well, I just got. What's up? I just got. A- Man got a got a zombie. I got him with <laughs> Hey, well, I'm gonna let you finish uh, interviewing Mike and shit. I, I'm gonna go help my brother build this shit. But you guys have a safe night. It was great talking to you guys, and hopefully we can get like I don't know, like an EXO interview out here soon. Oh, it's definitely Mac. Hey, Mac, the pleasure, dog. Oh my God! All right, have a good day, guys. All right, Mac. Have a good one, brother. Good night, Mac. I usually have hey, 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 that. <laughs> Can you hear me, bro? Yeah. I kind of lost connection there. I could show us. There we go. If you want. Ooh. Yeah, we can get. Yeah, let's get that. For the viewers. <laughs> That's so all I'm gonna show. Yo, hey, yo, bro, thanks. Hey, what do you, what do you enjoy more? Is it the rapping or the singing? The singing more, mm. but sometimes I get bored with it, and that's when mm-hmm. I pump out the rap. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm a big fan of your singing. I think your voice is unique, but you do you throw down in your rap, bro. You throw down in your rap, and I think that's really dope. Yeah, I think it's really dope too because you know, kind of circles round back to your story with you creating the diss track with Rob, and that's dope. You know what I mean? Yeah, talking your game. Heard, but um, 
about two months ago, I had one drop. I deleted it now because I don't want to waste my time on that person or mm. those said people. But mm. damn, dog, that's true. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to waste good energy on whack people. But I feel you. It's art, though. You know what I mean? It's a, it's kind of therapy too. Do you feel that way with music? Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah, most definitely, it's a big help. Um, how do you feel with the with mental health being connected with music, especially these days? Oh, that's one of my favorite parts. It's helped me a lot. It's prevented many bad things that could have happened for not only me but like other people around the world and like, mm -hmm. I'm usually happy when I see others happy so like when I see everyone in EXO happy with their like music that's when I'm like yes that's when I just sit down and I go we're here <laughs> we're here um how do you feel when maybe it's a, a fellow artist or a fan contacts you and tells you, yo, this song really inspired me or this song really helped me, the song was good. How does that make you feel? Oh, that makes my day. That makes like, my week. <laughs> I love For it. Real. It just puts a smile on my face. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, bro, especially because I think when the music touches someone, especially if they're, like, going through a lot and it helps them throughout the night, bro, what, that you did so much right there and you don't even know it, you know? Regardless if it brings you money or not, you probably saved someone's life and that's more important than anything. Yeah. That's one of my main, like, goals with music is to like more for like others than myself yeah i'd like to be big but it is what it is as long as i can say i've helped even one person like that's that just makes me happy and that's really good. Like 400. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> that just, that's just, no. it's insane. And I'm happy with it. <laughs> it is insane, bro. And it was so incredible is that those numbers are only going to go up. You know, you guys, not just you as an artist, but your team, like, you guys are growing at a good rate. And you guys are only going to affect more people, you know what I mean, in good positive ways. Um, with that being said, how f have you gave it any thought on how famous you would like to be? Oh, I'd like to be at the top. <laughs> like yeah. The top. But can't go into it with I'm already at the top. Even when I'm at the top. There's always going to mm. be more to do. Yo, how how do you deal with, like, hate, haters and stuff like that, negative comments? I think I've gotten it so much that it doesn't really do anything anymore. And I kind of just, thanks for your opinion. Have a nice day. Mm. I do that, and then I'm fine. That's really good, dog. You can't really pay it no mind, you know? They're just miserable and want to lash out at people that are happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's whack. But, uh, dog, here's one with, as far as, like, you reaching fame. You hit that, you hit that pinnacle. Which, is there, is, are there musicians or bands that you would like to work with? 
Um, I would say Lovejoy. Um, Quadeca. Um, Ski Mask. Mm. Brahmin God. That's, um, I actually got a price for him. So what? I'm like getting no I'm way. Get that sorted. Not, not saying too much, but <laughs> either either December or sometime next year. Big moves, bro. My gosh, dog. I'm watching you, bro. I'm excited for your future. I'm watching your career. I'm watching your team, bro. You guys are doing big things, dude. This was a, a pleasure, dog. Go ahead and tell the viewers where they can find all your music, all that art. SoundCloud, um, My Death Real, right here. Can't really miss it. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned. Um, you can find me on YouTube as well. Um, just follow my Instagram. I have, I have a link tree there that has all my links. Boom. All right, y'all give, give my death real follow. Check out his catalog, add it to a playlist. He's a wonderful artist. He's an artist on the rise. My death I real. Give, I can give one more. One <sighs> last method. Yes. Let's get it, dog. Yeah. All right. Ooh. I'm going to go a little later in the song. That's come November. November. Also, when's the next banger, Cal? Um, this Tuesday. This Tuesday coming up. Oh, I love the song. Yeah. Oh yes, bro. We need a submission from you. Beautiful, bro. Thank you for showing us every single one. You have, huh? That's history because not every artist does that. Oh wow. yeah, I want to give you props on that, bro, for participating in every contest. Like, that's badass, dude. I can't wait to submit songs for the um, awards. Bro, it's going to be so fun, dude. It's going to be a fun time, bro. It really is, dog. Also, it's... can I announce yeah. this? Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to be performing at the awards. Boom! Y'all heard it first. Mm. Dang! Y'all Big heard it first. Deal. My death real. Performing live on the Instagram Upper Radio Awards, y'all. That's a big deal. This is the first artist saying it out loud. My death real. Exo click. <laughs> Exo click making moves, y'all. Damn! Y'all heard it first. That's gonna be crazy, bro. I can't wait for that. It's gonna be an awesome experience. So excited. Dude, it's going to be lit, bro. Um, I can't wait to do some practice runs, get that test out the way, make sure everything's good, you know? Yeah. Beautiful, bro. Dude, again, thank you so much for being on Upper Radio. Thank you for having me. You're awesome, dog. Um, do you have any uh, any further questions? Anything else you want to get off on the, um, on the podcast? On the lookout for with submitting. Um... Uh, so we definitely have a uh, song of the year that's going to be coming up on the category you should definitely submit to that one um we also have uh 
collective you could add the XL to that that's part of you I'm trying to think off the top of my head oh music video submit oh. to that one oh we got... wow I have a really good music video Ooh, yeah dude badass um I can't think of the rest off the top of the dome right now but dude if anything I would say submit to almost all of them you know what I mean if you can wow. but uh I try to a submission tonight for one of the categories. Oh yeah, must definitely do that, dog. I appreciate your time, bro. Thank you again for having me. Of course, my death real. Thank you for coming on Upper Radio. Thank you for everyone in the chat, bro. Have a good one, dog. Have a good one. Peace. Yeah.